Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this coffee cup reading. This coffee cup is for all Virgos and it's for June onwards 2024. I hope you'll enjoy it my dear Virgo, I hope it helps you understand what is happening around you, why certain things are taking place, <clears throat> what are important factors for you to know, what you need, what's growing, what's coming, everything that empowers you to be able to know everything um, and supports you in your in your life now my dear virgo welcome to this channel I, I welcome each and every one of you my dear viewers those of who have been with me for some time i'm in gratitude for all of you um being part of my life and those of you who are new welcome to this channel i hope you'll enjoy this reading my dear virgo um, i want you to be aware prior to the coffee cup i always meditate and get in contact with the guiding angels of all virgos and i'm given information which i write down on a piece of paper and deliver this to you at the end of this reading so now that I've got that out of the way and um, helped you understand what's coming, let us begin. So, wow, <laughs> it looks like some Virgos are on a trip right now. Hmm, interesting. You might be going away already, are, have taken time out, vacation somewhere, but it looks like a very nice one. Uh, your cup looks incredible. Let me just start from the beginning to show you what it looks like. There is so much, my dear viewers my dear virgo please oh wow that's weird what i just saw here oops um please support me by seeing the video all the way to the end and support me by seeing it because it's going to be very long and i really need your support in that way that would mean a lot to me okay my dear viewers let's begin with the first thing that i see here now there's a great victory here um a lot of blessings <clears throat> It shows that you should be really, really, really pleased with all your efforts. You've put so much effort. Um, and your reward is this uh, this time now. It says, like, it shows to me a very happy, luxurious time. A time of luxury and satisfaction and serenity and peace. And perhaps even this holiday is going to be part of your... I feel like there could be two, two holidays. Um... Like, perhaps two holidays where you're joining somebody and doing another trip over here. Or there could be, like, something happening now in June and then something happens again in three months, September, around your birthday. I feel like there is something like that going on. There could be two um, times out you've taken, you're taking, and really enjoying your time. Really, you should feel pleased with all your efforts. There's a spiritual connection happening here between you and someone. And I feel like... With this spiritual partnership, it's going to be helping you overcome a major obstacle and take you to a very high level, a wonderful level um, of freedom, understanding, and a lot of opportunities. Talking about opportunities, there's a new, new opportunity. It's not one, but many possibilities, opportunities, and paths opening up for you. So many of them that you will have so many choices um there is there's also something wonderful here there's a compliment from an admirer somebody is complimenting you maybe making a gesture a gesture which is of compliment that you're actually then want you to realize that they're admiring you there's admiration hmm, beautiful let's see also i'm seeing here that there is uh, a very spontaneous kind of adventurous feeling about you now. You want to take action or you want to do something spontaneous or you might be thinking, you know, um, you're free now, free to do so much. I feel like there's a sense of freedom at the same time, like a, a sense of restriction is being removed and you are more free. Maybe you're starting a new phase in your life. Um, trust in, in the plans that are coming because they're going to be beautiful and they're divinely guided for you, my dear Virgo. Things are going to fall into place. No matter what other people are saying, I just feel like there is a new beginning that is going to be spectacular. Freedom from a lot of heartache, a lot of problems, and there's justice for you at the same time. There's something to do with what is true and what is right and what is fair. Taking responsibility for your actions, for yourself. And 
and every action is making you move forward. There are to, there are situations where you might be um, dealing with situations, contracts, agreements, legal matters. But the good news is they are all going to be resolving in your favor because I do see um, the Libra sign here, justice. So it shows to me even that hammer. So there is a, a law kind of a, something to do with law, a lawyer. Maybe you need a lawyer. There is judgment in you for your in your in your favor. Some of you could be thinking of studying law, possibly. Um, I also see that a lot of your dreams and plans are finally getting fulfilled. End of June. The end of June. It's like you're finally relieved. Like you're you're so happy. There's a victory for you. A great victory for a job well done. There's recognition. Applause for a job well done. Glorious success waiting for you. You did something really big. And you're bursting with pride. You're so proud of yourself for what you did because what you did is amazing. And you did it alone and it's all done by yourself without anyone helping you. Without anyone's help. Just your careful planning and hard work is making this happen. And finally you want to put your feet up and just sit and you know, gaze at everything you did and feel that sense of triumph and success and positive effect that's affecting your self-esteem also. You're so proud of yourself that you were able to do what you did. Uh, very proud. In fact, <clears throat> I see a lot of money coming in at a time when you are um, in possession of something, like possession of a home, of a property, And there's this money coming. But also, it, that with this money that's coming, it also shows some caution is needed. Some discipline is needed for some reason. Maybe you need to watch your financial interests, what you do. You don't risk anything. Always rely on your instincts. Your higher self will always tell you what's the right thing to do. And research everything before you say yes to any kind of endeavor or proposition. Don't just trust financial advisors. You've got to be very careful. There is a large, enormous sums of money coming to you. <clears throat> it could be inheritance or a lottery win or lotto win. It's a winning or investment paying off. It's very big. And there's documentations to be signed. So major. This could be a, maybe a big deposit for a down payment on a home. It could be so big. That you can do so much. You can buy your own home, maybe outright. That's it's really big. Yeah, material harvest to the highest level. Wow. Like living a life of comfort and happiness and money and luxury. Very, very nice. Very wonderful. It's like a blessing, unlike anything you've seen or experienced before. A great blessings. And you're entering into this period, a period of absolute blessings and happiness. And there's so much positive around you, my dear Virgo. You are going to be in awe, amazed at everything that you have not only achieved, but what's unexpected, all that sum of money that's coming your way. This is going to help you travel, take a vacation, maybe around your birthday again. I'm seeing um, September again, fulfillment and a peace. There's, there's a lot of happiness. I also feel like it's as though karma is paying you back for all that you've done and you've sacrificed a lot, it looks to me. And it's like now karma is giving you all the slack. Again, I see a great goldfish and not one but four of them, which is all about material wealth and spiritual, spiritual growth, yes, but mostly the fish, the goldfish, is about increased material wealth. So it's showing in every way. And now I'm seeing there's this beautiful dog here that you are communicating with somebody who's born in the Chinese ear of the dog could be yourself or could be somebody you're dealing with. And it looks like that everything that has happened and plentiful for you, I feel like you want to share it with someone that's really loyal to you. And you want that person to be part of this part of your happiness. You're celebrating life's passages and everything. And you want this person to be part of this happiness. Uh, this is someone really loyal and, and you really love this person. I do see a lot of blessings coming into your life that you are going to be amazed. A sense of freedom from something. 
because of the choices you made, I feel like you're setting yourself free from something that was sort of like overwhelming. It's as though you're moving into your own home from a, a place of where you were not comfortable. That's what it looks like, like you're into your own place, your own business, your own home. And there's a beautiful white snake here. Again, lotto, lottery, you've got to play. Some big money is coming your way, without a doubt. Chinese year of the snake is here, and the white snake. And the white snake is about lotto, so you never know what's happening. There is a major um, decision. You need to. There, there's a, there is a little bit of complexity, and you need to take action to resolve this this complexity, this challenge, let's say. And you need to move very quickly. Somebody might, or some situation is going to arise where you are going to be given maybe some some information, some important information, or some act of kindness, or some. Um, It's about moving quickly, taking advantage of this situation. And I feel like it's going to help you move forward and it's going to help you, you know, even possibly taking a vacation. Maybe even if not physically, but mentally, like that's how good it is. That's how amazing this opportunity is that you're going to take advantage of. And it's going to help you solve this problem that you are sort of in between. You're not sure how to go about it. Strong emotions. There's strong, passionate emotions. And what's amazing about these emotions, some of them are really about passion, about someone that you really feel passion towards. And there's another part where you are very angry at someone and there's passion of hatred, even though you might not be able to hate someone, but you're angry at someone. Anyhow, I do see there is a journey here for you and things are going to get better and better. I do see that you're investing in something wonderful and big that's giving you power and strength. And some of you are thinking long term. It's to do with something long term. So it could be a home or a business or, you know, something really property, something really um, uh, grounding, like something really to do with a home or, or real estate or something like that. You're transcending to high levels. And completing a major milestone, but you have to be very careful because um, there there could be some worry, or you might be worrying or stressing over something. In some cases, this could be, um, you know, health. There might be a health issue that you might be concerned about, or there could be um, feeling as though you're losing someone, um, or you're not getting the support from the family because you want to do something and you're not getting support. You feel like as though you're abandoned and not supported properly when you when you were supposed to be supported. That that's what I look it looks like to me. Um, some of you are really stressed. Maybe you've taken on something so big and you're thinking, "Will I make it? Will I be able to do it on my own?" So these obstacles and challenges are going to be there in your mind for a while, but you have to be careful that they don't cause you uh, depression and anxiety. You know, you might be feeling as someone as though someone is against you or something like that. You've got to be very careful with these thoughts. They don't, because I do see here a vulture, and a vulture shows that you might be feeling um, dissatisfied, and your focus now is on material possessions. Maybe because you've taken on something so big and you need payments. Maybe you bought a house and you're worried about the down payments. Maybe uh, the payments that you make, the mortgage. Emotionally, you're exhausted, it looks like to me. And, and you're searching for answers. It's like, it's like there's something good in your life and you're not sure if it's good or what's going to happen. It's like there's fear. That's what it looks like to me. Fear more than anything else. But remain faithful to your ideals and, and keep doing what you have to do because I feel like you might end up being overly demanding of others and of yourself. And and you don't and, and you don't want to do that because then you become you could lose something or someone. There is grief. I, I see you grieving someone, like the grieving, the loss of someone, or maybe you're grieving many regrets that you have had, setbacks. But I do feel like loss of a relationship, loss of a friend, loss of a valued possession, something there's some sort of a loss, and your disappointment. Your disappointment in love and in friendship. Some of you could be ending a situation, a relationship, a marriage, 
or love relationship somehow you know there's a bit of a contradictory over here they were showing how amazing everything was and now they're saying you're grieving the loss of something but there's always hope for better future that that's for sure solutions to your problems are the choices that you make there could be temporary you know situations that you might be seeing them very difficult or you know this is all about emotional loss grieving the loss of someone you have to think long term there's tough times coming ahead you've got to really look at long term solutions your decisions should be all according to long term avoid all kind of negativity in your life at all costs even negative people try to avoid them as much as you can spend more time in nature and let things naturally uh pan out let them let things naturally pan out don't push things let them naturally um open up for you you've been feeling depressed it looks like mood swings maybe you're feeling alone maybe you're feeling that you need to take necessary step to steps to to shift everything you need to shift your focus that's for sure because you're focusing on something that that brings you joy but it's not around you now and it's like maybe you're grieving the loss of someone that might that you might have liked or that you love and they're not around they're probably away somewhere that could be possible okay so there are health issues these health issues keep cropping up they keep coming up there may be something contagious there's there may be an infection there may be a genetic illness but there are health issues it's either you or somebody around you and it looks to me like as though you need to get out of a situation get out of this place you know it's amazing they do show viruses here so it's weird but it also it shows that you need to get out of a situation now it's the time for you to get out of a situation what situation they won't tell me it's it's probably something very controlling something that's very maybe someone very selfish they have no regard for no one but themselves maybe it's this person that you need to get away from they might try to control you you've got to be very careful you might be caught up in an unhealthy situation i feel like you got to heal from this and remove yourself from anyone negative and not so good i i, I really feel like you've got to there's no use rebelling there's no use fighting with this person it's someone that doesn't like they don't conform to what is right anymore or maybe they're into their they rebel too they are rebellious they're rebelling about something so i i feel like this person is very complicated and you need to move away from this person there will be so much change around you now and the change that's happening around you will bring conflict and and uncomfort so change does that it's okay it's just um temporary be mindful of that so that and and be mindful that there are resolutions inside you just got to concentrate and focus i do feel like a chapter of your life that wasn't that good is ending i feel like yes there may be financial challenges but you've saved well and your savings are going to help you to accomplish everything but don't risk um putting money in a bad investment whatever you do i do feel like a job is ending but there is a possibility of another job coming your way spirituality i feel like so the spirits the guide your spiritual guides are all over the place all around you helping you and a lot of support comes in july money is going everywhere you're paying a lot of things you're paying so many things that money is going it's you, you know all your savings you're putting them into something and that's what's making you afraid maybe because all your savings are gone you're doing something magnificent of course that they're gone you've got to remember what you're establishing what you're accomplishing so look at that don't look oh my god all my savings all my money is gone look at what you accomplished and what you accomplished is magnificent and yes part-time jobs are possible and you are thinking about part-time job but do things in moderation try to um now start saving again and be more you know because it does look like it's time now for financial difficulty because you've put all your money into something magnificent 
but it's becoming challenging. So maybe you have to cut down on things now and be really a bit frugal, just a little bit from before. Uh, like, I mean, not frugal. Frugality isn't something where you can be frugal or not. Just or be economy, like use economy, be economical in your way of spending. Like try not to buy like you used to buy. Try to focus on your budget, a good budget, so that you don't feel like, oh my God, this change was so overwhelming. I lost all my money. You didn't lose it. You put it into something spectacular. Now, if you find yourself sometimes envious of someone's good fortune and you can replace that with happiness and the good fortune that you're at and what you have accomplished alone without anyone's support. And look at that. You look at the bigger picture. You look at your blessings. You look at all the rewards, all the blessings, and be in gratitude for every moment and everything you've done because you've done it without support. But only God and the universe are with you. That's for sure. I'm shown that in such a deep way. You've been working hard alone and just putting out and doing for everybody, your family, your child, children, child. I don't know why I say child. Maybe the one child has been the main one that's been sort of uh, the main one that you've taken care of. But there, there may be children, of course, children. You are protected and you are in grace. I feel that and I see that very strongly. You are going to be protected in such a way you have no idea. So always remember. At the end of the day, this is what you look at. This is how I look at things. That when we pass from this world, all we take with us are the great memories and all our achievements, what we have done for those around us that we love. So always look at it that way. And you'll be in so much gratitude that you will heal and slowly start saving up again. And if you can't because now you have a mortgage or you've done this really big thing, a big wedding, sometimes big weddings. Like I know a very good friend of mine who just did a really big wedding overseas for her daughter. And it cost her like, what, 100000 or something. All their savings, everything they had, they put into it. So, I mean, that's just one thing. I know another one, another friend of mine who's buying a house. So what happens when you pour everything, you've got all your savings, you feel like, oh, my God, I've got nothing, nothing to lean back on. But don't forget what you did. What you did, that achievement on its own, it's glorious. That's That's for the rest of your life, you'll remember that. That's what we take with us when we pass on from this world. We take on all the great things we did. For ourselves and for those that we love. So always remember that. And remember that challenges will happen in life. It doesn't diminish the fact that you're not supported and things are going to get better. So you might be feeling inadequate now, not enough money, but you'll see that you have more freedom. For example, let's say you bought a house and you were renting before. Now the house is more more expensive. It has more money, a lot you have to spend on. But there's a sense of freedom. There's a sense of you own this. You accomplished that. What a great accomplishment. You did it on your own. So all that and gratitude. It will help you become stronger, better, move forward without hesitation. But there is a situation that's eating you up. Something in your mind that you keep thinking. You want to get to the heart of the matter. What happened? There's more going on that meets the eye. There's something. And I feel like soon you are going to understand that and come to terms with it. It just needs a little bit of time. It's it's not something to really worry about. Between you and someone, maybe there is some sort of stagnant energy now. And the, the flow of energy is going to move on again. It's going to come another five, five weeks, I'd say. Or less than three to five weeks. It's going to get better and better. Now everything's on pause. There's a reason. You might be feeling alone, abandoned, but you might be feel let down. Somebody let you down, but that will change, believe me. I feel like September is going to impact you on a grand scale. Something big is happening in September around your birthday. Something wonderful. Step by step, there's something happening, something wonderful in your life. You don't see it now. You don't know it now. But step by step, it's going to take place. These baby steps are going to bring a lot of progress and a lot of spiritual growth in your life. Baby steps. They're happening very slow. You can't see that now. But you're transcending to high levels. You're going to be financial. You'll have financial freedom. You are terrified now. You're so afraid of something. So afraid of losing something or someone. I feel like there is someone like masculine energy here. Very masculine. Even though this person might be <laughs> even though this person might be a female, but they're very strong. I'm sorry to say this. I see masculine energy. So 
they're so strong they're so powerful that you the more you get to know this person the more you're going to be crazy about them it's as though they're one of a kind you can't believe that they're so nice or so humble or so loving or so um, energetic and so giving and so compassionate so that you've got every all these qualities that you're overwhelmed with and you're thinking what's missing i've got to get to the heart of the matter of this situation something is missing something doesn't sound right it's too good to be true so you've got to be taking it step by step but i do understand and i do see the more you're getting to know this person it just needs time and you're in a rush uh, you're expressing your emotions very maybe quickly and it's okay go ahead like the universe is saying go ahead don't don't feel bad about that the more you get to know this person the more your your bond becomes deeper and deeper you'll understand this person could be the one the one that you're going to spend the rest of your life with so you don't have to worry there's a lot of romance that's going to be growing between you and this person there's a lot of attention a lot of affection you get from this person that you love you're getting sometimes obsessed with and they're getting obsessed with you this obsession that you're getting with each other it's it's mutual so you need to know that it's not one-sided it's like somebody saying to you i'm coming i'm coming trust me i'm coming back it's like you don't believe they're coming back i think somebody's gone away somewhere they might be traveling or something and they feel the same way about you so you need to know that you don't have to ever worry about that now let's see what i'm seeing here the strangest strangest bizarre thing what i'm seeing here that you're very much involved with on a high level in in uh, june is someone that is aquarius i'm seeing aquarius there's one two three four aquarius here aquarius the star sign aquarius wow gemini also libra but the, i see taurus taurus libra i see virgo virgo yeah three virgo so three aquarius three virgo there's taurus there too there's scorpio cancer i'm seeing scorpio cancer and one pisces only fire energy i'm seeing three sagittarius sagittarius here very strong you might have sagittarius in you some virgo have sagittarius in them or you could be dealing with someone that has sagittarius in them aries a little bit and leo a little bit but um i'm also seeing chinese ear of the rat here very strong chinese ear of the buffalo ox buffalo very strong chinese ear of the uh dragon let me see is that a dragon a dragon then i've got the rooster then we've got the the pig and then i've got the goat and then finally i've got the dog the chinese of the dog so yes these are the signs of the people that you might be dealing with on a grand scale now my dear my dear virgo glasses off and now we start with the messages quickly i've got to deliver these to you it says i need your love wow i need your love it's whether you need their love or they need your love I guess it's you maybe i need your love it's you you need their love or somebody needs your love there's growth growing together so the growth is happening and growing. remember they said baby steps and there'll be progress so that could be in regard to this to growth growing together so much disappointments something's happened that you are so disappointed and there's rat again remember i said there were rats there's a rat here chinese year of the rat this was given somebody's disappointing you or maybe you are disappointed. You are born under the Chinese year of the rat. But it says don't get too disappointed because there's luck and growth and there's fish and there's connected to Pisces. There could be Pisces or a lot of luck. A lot of luck coming your way and there's growth. So don't be too disappointed. In regard to this fireball. Fireball is about, could be inflammation. There was illness here you need to take care of. It's also about fire energies like sagittarius we had three sagittarius here leo and and aries but also it's about inspiration and sometimes sometimes it's about inflammation other times it isn't so trying to drink a little bit of water uh you know two or three sips day like every half an hour throughout the day day and night keep drinking a little bit of water replenish your limb system in case there's inflammation orchids orchids are all about beauty and spiritual growth karma something karmic is going to take place but it's over something is ending karma maybe is ending it's over something's coming to an end it says it's over now let's go through the letters and i can't wait to get your 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 um your comments about this to see what is this it's over i didn't see that here now 
Um, we have the letter L for love, Q for quails or quilt, C for Charlie or Canada, G for Georgia or green, W for winter or willow, K for kangaroo or kilo or kiwi fruit, M for Mexico, twice the letter S for Sweden, S for Sam. Okay, then I was given two numbers, Chinese year of the ox buffalo, Chinese year of the rat again. Wow. Now, the rat does represent number one, which is the beginning, the beginning of something. A new beginning? Well, karma, it's over, something's ending, obviously something's going to be beginning. Um, from now up to a month, something big is going to begin, it's going to happen. Connected to people that are born in January, January itself is going to impact you on something beginning in January. And also people born in January are Capricorn and Aquarius. And we had four Aquarius here. So there could be something starting with an Aquarian. <coughs> now, the next one. Sorry, my dear viewers. Um, so Chinese Year of the Rat. Yes, now the next one is number two. Chinese Year of the Ox Buffalo. Somebody born in February. And February itself impacting you. And uh, people born in February are again Aquarius. And Pisces, but Aquarius, again, five times Aquarius today in this reading. Something big happening with Aquarius. Can't wait for your comment in regard to this. Um, number two is also connected to partnerships and relationships. A lot of abundance happening, and it's about abundance, plenty, happening from now up to two months, which is August. Let's see what that means. Let's see what that is for you. I can't wait to hear your comments. Do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to watch the video till the end to support me. And please, if you want to tip me, Always click on one or two ads and just let them run. You don't have to watch them and waste your time. You can just click on them. That's a tip for me. If you're ever interested to do that, I would be very much in gratitude for all your help. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I wish you abundance. Can't wait to hear your comment about these, um, these important things. A lot of love and light and a lot of blessings. Namaste.